most important thing to remember about these questions where we're being directed to an underlined sentence or two is we really need to make sure we're answering the question about the sentence that's underlined, not about other surrounding sentences, right? So they want to know what is the function of the sentence. So we should think about that as we read it, maybe dumb summarize as we go. But remember, like there might be wrong answers that are about other sentences. So this is from some memoir, um, from uh, in this text, this person recalls how the women in his tribe harvested maple syrup during his childhood. Okay, so they're harvesting maple syrup. Now the women began to test the trees, moving leisurely among them, axe in hand, and striking a single quick blow to see if the sap would appear. So, yeah, I don't know, to see. They're trying to figure something out. Um, okay. The trees, like people, have their individual characters. Some were ready to yield up their lifeblood, while others were more reluctant. So, okay, um, let's make a comparison. So, comparison. Maybe that's important. Let's keep going. Now, one of the birchen basins was set up under uh, was set under each tree, and a hardwood chip driven deep into the cut which the axe had made. So now it's kind of like a step and a process, right? So this is kind of like a step um, from the corners of this chip. At first, drop by drop, then more freely, the sap trickled into the dishes. So this seems like a process, and um, I don't know that this is necessarily a step in the process, but it's it's some descriptor of it. So let's let's take a look at the choices we get. Choice A, it portrays the range of personality traits displayed by the women as they work. Well, main character confusion, right? This is, this is a classic trap choice. The, the trees have individual characters. That's what the line says. The trees have individual characters, <laughs> not the women. So we're switching the topic here, right? So the, the underlying sentence is about the trees. It's comparing them to people but it's about the trees. So this is just wrong. Uh, it foregrounds the beneficial relationship between humans and maple trees. Oof, that just sounds like garbage, but let's see. Um, is it beneficial? They yield up their lifeblood, but others are reluctant. So this is maybe, as for dumb summarizing here, this is kind of a mixture, positive and negative, whereas this is positive. So I don't love that, right? It seems to be, um, you know, there's some more uh, complexity to the line than to this choice. So we'll leave it, but okay. Uh, it demonstrates how human behavior can be influenced by the natural environment. Again, it's not about humans. It's about the trees. So that seems wrong. D, it elaborates on an aspect of the maple trees that the women evaluate. Okay, so it's still about the trees, right? An aspect of the trees. But now the women are making a, a little bit of, a, of an appearance in this choice. So are the women evaluating? What is the aspect? First of all, let's, let's do that. This is a common strategy is if a choice is talking about something, sometimes we can turn the choice into some questions, and then try to answer the questions using the line. So what is the aspect of the trees? Um, I guess it's whether they yield up their sap, right? Um, how ready they are to do that. So that's an aspect of the trees. Um, okay, do the women evaluate that? Yes. Now the women began to test the trees. Um, yeah, to see if the sap would appear, right? So this seems right. Um, it doesn't necessarily talk about the comparison that I saw, but that's okay. My dumb summary doesn't have to necessarily be complete. Um, I just kind of noticed the thing I noticed in the moment. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. Um, but yeah, now I'm able to do what's much more common on the SATs is instead of writing a summary here, so this is there's two different versions. So most people try to take the passage, summarize it, and then go to the choices and find that summary. That sometimes doesn't work because sometimes your summary is not including an idea that the passage or the choices include. So we always have this backup, which is take the choices and then see which one matches with the passage, right? Test the choices the same way these women are testing the trees, right? Just see which ones are going to match nicely with what we've got. We don't need to come up with a great summary ourselves. The choices are for summaries that we can test. Um, so make sure, though, that when you have these questions that are underlined, you focus on the underlined portion. That's what the question is about. That's what the choices are going to be about, too.